My name is Melanie Tomlinson and I'm an artist based in Birmingham. My work is concerned with themes around edgelands and forgotten places and spaces. So edgelands are like the corridor areas you get between urban and rural areas that tend to get overlooked. They're areas that people meet, use for recreation, but also they thrive with wildlife and I find the combination um, very interesting and inspirational. The piece in the exhibition here is called A Place With No Name. The artwork is three-dimensional, you can walk around it and there are cut out parts in the walls and the sides of the house so you can look through these cut out parts and see objects and found objects inside the actual structure. There's a cut out horse shape on one side of the building and that represents um, a conversation with a a participant in one of my community workshops that spoke about dreams of carousel horses prancing underneath the canal bridges in the black country. So there's many sides to the piece, so there's something different on every side to view. So the research for the piece of work, A Place With No Name, started off with me actually working at a community cafe, Gather Cafe in Dudley. And I, on a Saturday, I took along a heat press and some materials and with the local community we had conversations about memories of the local area, what people love, what people find interesting, memories from many years ago and it kind of served as a signpost for research in the local vicinity. One of the initial ideas that I explored was the edgelands around the black country generally but particularly where Dudley and Tipton meet and the sort of um, old forests that have grown up in the old industrial areas. So me and the participants actually went for a walk around this area to get a feel of it and to see what we could find. Um, so that was really interesting. And we had conversations while we were walking around the local areas to what it meant to us. A lot of participants had childhood memories of this particular place. But the second source of inspiration was my own family history and my great-grandparents worked for the brewery industry in Tipton and my nan was born above a pub in the black country just down the road and the piece that I've made is about that particular pub. It's not there anymore or rather it is but it's actually a house and so I wanted to find out more about what life was like at this time when she was born and lived in 1921. So the piece is kind of a joining together of edgelands around the black country, my own personal family history and conversations with, with participants at some of the workshops I delivered. So the person on the side of the house is actually my nan, Rose, who was born in 1921 and I think she was about 10 or, 10 or 12 in that image. Interestingly, she wanted to be a dancer, a performer and she came from this really hardcore working class family that worked alongside the canals for many years with the brewery industry. And so I think it's quite interesting that for a short time in her life, she was actually able to go off and travel and do these performances. So we've got various photographs of it in costume, but I think that is, that is her on the side of the building, so yeah. Inside the piece of artwork, there are wildflowers and plants that you find in, around the edgelands of cities and there's a particular plant in there called a teasel which my nan used to have in a very old brass vase I think in her house and it very much reminds me of her so there's teasels in there alongside other grasses and plants found along the edgelands of the black country. There's also rusty horseshoes and tools that would have been used in the brewery industry inside um, and on the outside of the piece there's some vintage brooches which is in reference to my nan. So it's a real privilege to be part of this exhibition at the Art Gallery um, and to also be part of a group of artists that are making work about the local area. Um, I think there's a real soul to this exhibition which I think is because we all live and work in this area and it's great that the gallery have um, staged the show for so long 
um, and that people can come along and see work that they can relate to in terms of their own personal history.